The multi-use boot with FlexiCore technology offers unprecedented softness, flexibility, and adjustment. The multi-use boot is unique and is used for a variety of clinical situations. Ankle contracture, heel decubitus, and plantar fasciitis, to name a few. The multi-use boot arrives with the foam dorsal wedge for the toes in place. To begin the application, remove the foam wedge. Next, you can release the calf strap. Then release one of the side straps. Note the extra Velcro on the strap. This provides a greater range of adjustment. Now go to the instep and disconnect the instep strap. Open it up and swing the strap pad out to the side. You can fold the hook back onto the strap temporarily. Then open the foot cover. Place the foot into the boot. It's already been shaped and sized appropriately, which we will address later in the video. Note the curve there behind the Achilles tendon and the curved heel area used to float the heel if desired. First you want to strap up the foot. Get that nice and snug. Next you want to strap up the calf strap. You can cut the strap if it's too long or just fold it back. Snug up the calf strap for a comfortable fit. Now reapply the instep strap. Carefully adjust this strap. Center the pad on top of the instep. The instep strap is required to pull the heel back into the boot and counteract foot drop. Now reapply the side strap by threading it through the slot on the foot and hooking it back on itself. Finally, if the use of the toe wedge is desired, lift up the toes and slide the white foam wedge under the toes. This provides one last additional stretch to the plantar fascia. This is the multi-use boot with an anti-rotation bar. The night splint does not have an anti-rotation bar. The multi-use boot is just that. It can be used for many different conditions. Plantar fasciitis, multipotus for heel decubitus, floating the heel, eversion, and inversion. The multi-use boot, LMUA. Here you can see how the anti-rotation bar counteracts rotation. The basic adjustment is matching the foot length to the user. Start by loosening the straps so that you can open or flatten the boot out. You can adjust the foot length of the boot by rebending the flexi-core structure. Once you have it flattened out, you can shift the heel bend one way or the other to make the foot piece longer or shorter. It's helpful to fold the Velcro straps back on themselves to keep them out of the way. By shifting the heel bend location, you change the relative lengths of the foot and calf. If you move the heel curve towards the foot, it's going to shorten the foot length. And vice versa, if you move the heel bend up toward the calf, it will make the foot longer. Use a chair back or a table and put small bends into the heel area until you get that 90 degree angle back in place. You can see that the small bends have shortened the foot part to accommodate a smaller foot. Note the deep heel curve which helps to protect the heel so that it's floating, but you don't need that curve. It can be much flatter if you want. Again, if you move the bend towards the foot or toes, it will shorten the boot for a smaller foot. Now you can see the unique flexibility of FlexiCore by twisting the foot part to treat for eversion. The dorsiflexion straps keep the tension loaded the way you want for many clinical conditions. This is a unique product. There is no boot out there that gives you so many options to deal with a wide variety of clinical conditions. The key to the multifunctionality of the boot is the FlexiCore frame and the dorsiflexion straps which hold the desired position. The Multi-Use Boot by Leader Group.